What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. This is going to be the final vlog of this build. We've come a long way. We still have a little bit further to go and now we're getting on to all the finishing details. We have an awesome tongue and groove pre-stained ceiling that's going up. We have some hideaway screens on the patio, on the deck, 85 inch TV. We've got hanging chairs going on. So make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. Got these hideaway screens going in here on the patio. And how do you like them? Simple. Simple. Easy install. So they come with these hardware packs. These little black powder coated angles. And then just have this little screw right here. Boom. Super easy. Patio feels just so awesome right now. Adds such a classy touch. Got the Arborvitae's here, the hideaway screens with the hydrangeas behind it, all the posts wrapped in that decorator's Kaya, all while sitting around the graphics fire pit. I just went out and picked up our shiplap ceiling. This is the UFP Edge Native Woods Collection. Super, super nice stuff. Pre finished, which I love. Pat's gonna be really excited because he doesn't have to stain everything. And what I really like about it, it's a nickel gap shiplap, but it's got a tongue and groove. So we're gonna be able to do less exposed fasteners. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh yeah. Excited? Uh, yeah, pretty excited. Pretty excited? I'm fairly excited. All right, we can work with that. So we're gonna get this going in and uh, we'll show you the whole installation. We're getting some more of this ceiling up. We had a lot to plan around with, as you can see, these infrared heaters that are gonna go in. We have two of those that are gonna be flush mount, so they require this big fireproof box and uh, insulated wire, so we had to work around that. We also have one of them installed over here. Now that we have it up and we fed the wire through, we're good to kind of continue and we can get the rest of the ceiling up. All the slow stuff's kind of done. We're also doing some speakers in the ceiling. That caused us a little bit of trouble, but uh, we'll show you that when we get to it. Should be smooth sailing from here, but I doubt it. So here's our speaker wire. We have four speakers that are gonna go in the ceiling, and I'll show you how we ran this, where the receiver's gonna be. So you can see up here, we have the wires just running through the ceiling. They're coming down this column, and right here they're going into the house. We plan that out so those wires are going directly into a cabinet in the laundry room. That's where the receiver is going to be. Everything's Bluetooth, so they're not really going to need to get to that too often. They're going to control everything from their phones. They can also hook up the TV to the sound system via Bluetooth, so it's going to be a nice little feature. Be the icing on the cake, baby. Yeah, you're good. You can nail those three, and then I can start to open. So you can see with this tongue and groove, we want to get that really nice and snug so we have an even reveal. And the best way we found to do that is to cut a scrap 
and then we can hammer on the outside of that and we're not gonna mess up the tongue of this piece which will accept our next piece. That's it. Shaking so much. <laughs> Make sure the plus goes on the bread. It's not yeah. scooter, it's not hot. I, I'm just tired. Puppy. Oh. Good vibes. got all of our ceiling boards up except for the last piece on the edge here that's gonna be a rip and then we're gonna have some trim that covers that edge just all kinds of detail stuff now so uh, we're getting really close baby this roof is looking amazing though I'm super pumped Pat what do you think of the color oh yeah you excited you didn't have to uh, stain all this because it comes pre stained yes he's still excited about that I love that about it so, take a look. Because it's... Whoa. You're like the kid from Hey Arnold that always gets punched in the face because he's breathing behind people. So, because these are tongue and groove, you can see no exposed fasteners, which is awesome. They lock together really nice and tight. We're gonna have trim on these edges, but besides that, the ceiling's pretty much a wrap, baby. Nobody asked me to. Probably not necessary. But I'm still, still holding it. Doing a good job. Half of 74 is 37. So we got a. Uh, Bill got two fans up. Working on the centerpiece here, chandelier going right there. Oh, that's gonna be a beaut. I'm pretty excited for that. And uh, yeah, hang this TV. This is gonna be- Guys, you going down there? So we wanted this TV to be as close to the wall as possible. So instead of putting an outlet there with a cover, we decided to put the outlet underneath and we can just drill one hole through the wall way behind the TV, you'll never see it. But that way we can get this as close as possible, easier to access you, underneath anyway, so. Are you win -win. 
You have it? Oh, awesome. Pull it. Keep pulling. Get it on the mantle? Yeah. How do you know that's there? Because I'm looking at the center of the fireplace. Fireplace off? I'm like, I'm like on the bracket yeah. now. He's got laser on. I just want him to yeah. lift you up. Look at the center of that. Look at yeah. the center. See, that's yeah. the center of the teammate. Good? Yeah, there you go. They can't see the center of the teammate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Want to lift? Yep. One, two, three. Right. Yeah. We should make walls out of TVs. Ultra HD TVs. Just getting some furniture set up here. I'm not 100% done, but uh, got the holiday weekend, so you know, figured give them a space to really uh, relax, kick back. Check that out. Go give them a whirl of that. Weekend, the granite countertop got installed look at that beautiful waterfall edge we always leave off the top board until after the countertops in so that we can go up flush to it in case they need to shim anything so we'll put that last board up then we have a little cut to make here for our uh, insert we'll get that in we'll get the grill set and then we can finish up these corners and one of the last things we're gonna do I'm gonna make cushions for this area right here, we got some custom cushions made. So I gotta cut the foam, put them inside the custom cushion covers, and uh, we'll be good to go. This thing will be ready for a party. Okay. Oh, hey there, bud. So we got some custom cushions made for our bench and our day bed area. I've got the covers right here. Just ordered these offline to our measurements and then I ordered some bulk foam. So, getting ready to cut these to fit in the cushions and best thing to use, just a, uh, what do you call this? Electric kitchen knife. Thanksgiving time. So, I'm gonna make a mark on this. You'll see, this thing will just cut right through it really nice. Well, that's it for this vlog, the final in this build series. Let me know if you want me to do another video where we do a full walkthrough of the whole project, show you all the features and everything. But right now we're waiting for their landscaper to finish sodding the whole backyard before we get our final finished shot. So I'm gonna upload a couple of them at the end of this video, just as a little preview, but you're gonna have to wait till next week for the full time lapse to see all of those finished pictures. So make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living. Oh.